slash winter glam vampy makeup look i really really like how this came out and i feel like this is a classic look that you can wear anywhere because i stayed more so on the bronzy side and i didn't use any like wild colors and i really like the lip color because it's making my teeth look really white so i really hope you guys like this look and let's just go ahead and get started okay so i already started off with my eyebrows already done and i filled them in with the nyx micro brow in chocolate and then I cleaned up my brow with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in beautiful bronze. I didn't use chestnut this time because I just wanted to do something a little different but majority of the time I always flip flop between the LA Girl Pro Concealer in chestnut or beautiful bronze so yeah. So now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. And I'm just using the excess that was on the back of my hand from doing my eyebrows. And now I'm going to blend this out with my Real Technique Concealer Brush. Now I'm going to take my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and set my eyelids with my Real Technique Contour Brush. And now I have a smooth blank canvas to work with. So now I'm going to go in with my transition color and I'm going to be using Brown Script for MAC, the color that I always use. And I don't never really show you guys my palette because it's always dirty, but this is what I house my individual eyeshadows in if you guys were wondering. Don't judge me, I know it's dirty. So I'm going to take Brown Script on the outer corner of my eye and blend it inward. And depending on the look you're going for, you can blend it all the way to the inner corner of your eye. And that's going to give you a more rounded, smoky look. Or you can keep it on the outer corner of your eye. And this is going to elongate your eye. And it's also going to give you that smoky effect, but it's not going to give you like the rounded, smoky effect. If you guys get what I'm saying. And I still have morning voice, so just excuse the deepness <laughs> in this video. <laughs> I'm going to go in with brown down from MAC and this is going to go in the outer corner of my eye and I'm going to focus it more in my crease area. Okay, so I'm going to switch my brushes and I'm going to be using my Morphe M433 brush. I know some of my subscribers like my videos, but they want me to cut down on the length of my videos. But if I cut down the length of my videos, it's going to make it less detailed. And I like to make my videos really, really, really detailed so that beginners can follow along with me. So if my videos are a little too long for you, I apologize. But I'm trying to make sure my beginners are good as well. You get what I'm saying? So that's why my videos are kind of lengthy. But if you guys want some short videos, you know, I can throw those out there too. Just let me know what you guys think because I know my videos are long. They're like always more than like 10 minutes if it's like a full face. So if you guys want shorter videos, just let me know. Or if you guys don't mind. You guys can let me know that as well but i know majority of you guys don't mind the long videos because you guys always tell me that they're helpful and they're very detailed so um that's a good thing so just let me know if you guys want shorter makeup tutorials i just want to make sure everybody good you know okay now i'm going to use the same morphe m433 brush and i'm going to go in with deep roast from coastal scents and i'm placing this more on the outer corner of my eye and i'm not blending it in too much because brown down is already blended in so i'm just taking this on the outer corner of my eye to 
to add some more dimension. Hey, sun. <gasps> I love when the sun is out. It just makes me so happy and my footage be blown. Okay, now I'm going to take my MAC Mixing Medium Eyeliner and prime my eyelids with this to make sure my eyeshadow sticks to my mobile eyelid and does not transfer onto my upper eyelid. And I'm using my MAC 242 brush and this is the same brush that I did my eyebrows with. This is the same brush that I primed my eyelids with and this is the same brush I'm going to reprime my eyelids and use it for my mobile eyelids. So multiple use y'all, multiple use. Now I'm going to go into my Warm Neutrals palette from MAC and I'm going to take this color right here is like a yellow gold color like that. And I'm using my Sigma E54 brush. Oh, while well, I'm thinking about it, shout out to Chastity, <laughs> my coworker. Uh, she watches my videos, so she's probably gonna watch this video. So, shout out to you, girl. Thank you for watching my videos. <laughs> and shout out to everybody else that watch my videos. I don't want to leave y'all out because you know y'all my subbies, just like she is. So I can't leave y'all out because I love y'all. So shout out to y'all too. And then I'm gonna take this lighter color right here and add this to my eyelid as well. And I'm just gonna add it right here to make it look more precise. Okay, so you guys don't have to do this step. I'm just being really extra, okay? This is not needed. Now I'm gonna take my Coastal Sense blending brush. It doesn't have a number on it because it rubbed off, but I think this is one of their best seller blending brushes and I've had it for forever so and I'm gonna take this color right here and add this to the outer corner of my eye to deepen it up some more and I'm gonna line my eyelids with the grandiose eyeliner from Lancome Okay, so I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera because the way my camera is set up is not going to get me doing my eyeliner. And now I'm going to apply some mascara and the mascara that I'm using is the Falsy Push Up Angel Mascara from Maybelline. And the lashes that I'm going to be wearing today are the Dodo lashes. I'm not sure of the style. It's either the D301s or the D... 305. I'm not sure of the style because they might be in the wrong box So just make sure you guys check my description box for, for the correct lash number And if you guys don't want to go online and order these lashes because they are only sold online You guys can go to Walmart and pick up the salon perfect lashes in the style um, Go glam. I always stack these lashes So this is how they will look on me because I stack them and these are how they look regular So these are two lashes put together and this is just how they look right out of the package so yeah these are a perfect alternative so yeah y'all the mailman just came and i feel like they stopped in front of my house so i feel like they got a package for you girl I heard his door open, so I feel like he's getting out. <laughs> okay, so I'm happy my birthday present just came, so stay tuned for a haul because, yeah, it's a beautiful sunny day, and I'm filming for you guys. I'm off. I'm just happy. Anyways, this is how my eyes are looking, and let's just go ahead and move on to the face. Now I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Prep High Definition Smoothing Face Primer to prime my face and fill in my pores. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my MAC Waterproof Nourishing Foundation in the color NC50. 
and I'm just going to be applying this with my Real Techniques sponge that is damp. To highlight my face, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Beautiful Bronze. And then on top of that, I'm using my Better Skin Camouflage and Correct Concealer in the color Deep. Now I'm going to set my highlighter areas with the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in the color 360 Mocha. And I'm going to be using my Morphe MB1 powder brush. Before I finish the rest of my face, I'm going to go back in and finish my bottom lash line. The first color that I'm going to go in with is Brown Script from MAC and I'm using my Sigma E54 brush. And I'm keeping it more so on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not wrapping it all the way inward. Now I'm taking brown down for MAC and I'm using my Eco Tool brush. I'm not sure what kind of brush this is, but it kind of looks like a smudger brush, but it's kind of thick to be a smudger brush, so. And now I'm going to my Warm's Neutral Palette from MAC and I'm going to take this color right here and press this up against my bottom lash line. And I'm going to apply some black liner to my bottom waterline. And now to finish this off, I'm going to add some mascara. Now I'm taking this black up blush in the number 09 and I'm going to apply this with my Real Technique blush brush. Where's my mirror? And I don't want to add a lot. I just want to add like a little color back to my face. Just a tad bit. Low key, I almost forgot to contour and that just cannot happen. So I'm taking my black Radiance contour palette in the color medium to deep and I'm taking this color right here and I'm using my NARS Eda brush lookalike that I got from eBay to add some glow to my face I'm using my wet n well mega glow highlighting powder in the color crown of my canopy and then on top of crown of my canopy I'm taking precious petal it's just a lighter highlight which looks like that and then I'm just going to take my powder brush and make sure everything is blending together really well for my lip color I'm taking night moth from MAC and I'm going to line my lips with this And then I'm going in with the liquid lipstick for MAC and I'm using High Drama.
Alright you guys, so this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you guys like it. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And leave me some comments down below. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more beauty videos from me. And that is all I have to say. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in my next upload. Hey. Ever since I left the city.